Welcome. This is Ryan Sokolowski again, Senior Program Manager with the ECG CAT team. And today I'm excited to present this short segment on backing up and recovering your storage QoS policies. So let's jump into it and we'll start on our Storage Spaces Direct cluster, which is where we'll do all of our operations. So let's start first by looking at the existing storage QoS policies that we have. And I've created four uh, defined policies here with some different variables and so on. Um, the f next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to do our uh, export or backup operation. And to do that, we're using uh, uh, pipeline and we're doing get storage QoS policy and we're backing up an individual storage QoS policy named 2012R2HA. And you can see that one right here. And we're using uh, export CLI XML uh, and saving that in a file path. And we can take a look at that XML file that was saved. And you can see here clearly the name of it. Um, and if we scroll down, you can see the policy type, multi-instance, and the numbers that were defined. So that's great. We have a backup of that one single policy. And we can actually take another look at it uh, this way. And this pumps out the results of what we were able to uh, export. Uh, using the import CLI XML and doing a, a format list star. So that tells us essentially what we just looked at in the XML file. So now that we've viewed that and that we know we have a solid backup of it, we're going to remove that storage QoS policy and we receive our confirmation prompt. So we'll say yes and delete that. And then just to make sure, let's look at our get storage QoS policy, and we can see that 2012R2HA uh, has been deleted. Now, here's the second piece where we're going to actually restore that particular policy because we have the exported XML file. And to do that, we're going to do uh, export uh, import, excuse me, CLI XML, providing the path and uh, passing that pipeline to new storage QoS policy. And you can see we have success with that. And we'll take another look just to confirm. And there we have our uh, storage QoS policy that has been recreated with the exact same uh, parameters, minimum, maximum IOPS, same policy type, and everything. So let's uh, take a uh, broader view of that. And let's look at uh, how you would do this with all of your storage QoS policies, uh, because that's what you would probably want to do in a production environment. So we're going to export uh, all of our storage QoS policies to another XML file. And if we take a look at that file, this now contains our uh, system defined default policy. And if we scroll down, We'll see here's our 2012 R2 HA2 policy and so on and so forth. So we've created a successful backup, if you will, of all of our storage QoS policies. We'll take another look at it right here. And you can see all of our policies uh, exported out uh, with their names uh, have been successfully saved in that XML file. So just to show the uh, entire process, we will do the same operation and remove all the storage QoS policies that have a name uh, similar to 2012R2HA star. And we're going to receive several prompts here. So we'll say yes to all of them and all four storage QoS policies have been removed and we're back to uh, essentially a native state with just the uh, system defined 
default policy. Now we'll take a look at uh, two approaches. We're going to uh, restore a single policy from our collective uh, export, the My Policies XML, and we're going to do that with this command uh, saying where the name equals 2012R2HA. So we've reached into this file and we've uh, essentially recreated with the new storage QoS policy command just this one file. And we can confirm that by looking again here. Now, in a production environment, again, uh, if all of your storage QoS policies uh, had been deleted, you would likely want to have those recreated, uh, all of them. So I'm going to issue this command, and we will receive an error uh, when this is processing because we're now uh, reaching into, again, the same file, and we're saying where the name is like 2012R2HA star, and because we've already recreated this policy, we will receive an error on the command uh, when it hits that one. And as promised, uh, we received the error, cannot create a file when that file already exists. And that's great. We can just ignore that because the result is that we were able to export and then successfully re-import or recreate all of our previously defined storage QoS policies. So I think that's going to be a great uh, tip and uh, production usefulness for all of you. Thanks for joining me today.